Hello everybody and in this video I'm going to tell you how I painted these orc planes from Aeronautica Imperialis. Over here we have the fighter bombers and here are the Dacker jets and here are all the paints I used, I think, to paint them. So I'll pick up one of these Dacker jets, no, fighter bombers and tell you how I painted it. Now if we have a little look there, it's a little bit rough and ready but she is small. So uh, I didn't want to spend too much time on these but I wanted to make them quick, easy but also quite fun to look at. So we used our standard black primer to begin with. Um, I always use black, I don't know why. Some people you go straight into white, but I find black, I can see if I've actually finished priming everything. And then I did some pre-shading and that was with some white. So then I just airbrushed on some of the uh, bigger panels, things like that, just to uh, make the lighter colors show through again, which gave you a bit of uh, color variation when you were airbrushing on the base coat. However, you can't see it very well now because it is so small. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll skip to the next stage. Um, and that was Vallejo Game Color, Stonewall Gray. And I airbrushed that over the entire plane, uh, top and bottom. You can see where the pre-shading was done because it's obviously a lot darker inside in there in that rear um, wing on the top it was a lot lighter so yeah we just used the stonewall gray for that and then i air airbrushed i dry brushed that up with a bit of uh, vallejo model color white or blanco i think he was a character in street fighter <laughs> i may be wrong and then to do the stripes I used some blue tack, you can still see here the purple. And all I did was made some long thin sausages with this and wrapped it round the bits I didn't want painted uh, purple again. So you can see where it's been round, just wrap that round. You don't have to stick it hard, but it gives you a nice faded effect when you do peel it off. And when that was all masked, I used my favorite purple, uh, Vallejo model color, Violetta or Violet. Um, this always has been a good purple. I think everyone likes this purple. If you were going to paint Emperor's Children, this is probably the colour I would run to to use it. To uh, use, sorry, to paint them. That seems to be spot on between the red and the blue spectrum. But anyway, yeah, so that was the purple done. So I peeled off the masking tape. Masking tape, the blue tack, I should say. Um, leaving the purple stripes. Did I forget to mention that I did airbrush on the purple? <laughs> I think I might have done. But anyway, that was airbrushed on and that was pretty much it for the base coating. Um, the purple had a little bit of white mixed in with it just to give it a dry brush over the top of that. Um, luckily they were so light that I didn't really get any smeared pieces when I was dry brushing the two colours, just a little bit careful to make sure you don't go onto the other colour. After that, I picked out those gold sections and uh, I used my typical gold colour, which is Retributor Armour. This is a lovely gold paint, covers very well, one of the best golds I've used. And I just did some pipes, uh, some engines, those weapon magazines in there. And then all I did to finish that off was give it a wash of Agrax Earthshade. Little tip I have got for you, put a ball bearing in there and that'll mix a lot easier than uh, without having it in there. I think they call them a paint agitator. <laughs> um, so that was the gold bits done. We're whizzing through here. After that, we had these silver bits, such as on the weapons um, and barrels there, are the barrels on the top gun. Mustn't forget those two on the rear. And they were all painted with our friend Lead Belcher by Citadel. Still not quite as good as the old bolt gun metal, but it will do. 
So, yep, yeah, they were all painted with a couple of thin coats of lead belcher. And all I did then, again, was a quick wash with Nuln oil this time. I thought about using Agrax Earthshade to make it a bit dirty, but I thought at this scale, Nuln oil would work better. Again, agitator ball in there to help with the mix. And as you can see, that's pretty much it with the whole model. There was just one bit left to do, and that was the windows. Tiny little windows there. And that was painted with Vallejo model color, blue green. It's kind of a turquoisey color. Probably similar to Swooping Hawk Turquoise or whatever it's called nowadays from Citadel. And I did a base of that and then mixed in some white for the middle of the panels. And that was the windows, but there's a hair on the bottom of that. Look, a genuine orc hair. <laughs> Yeah, mixed in a little bit of white for the highlights. It kind of looks a bit like the reflections of clouds in the sky, maybe. That's my excuse, anyway. <laughs> and that is literally the entire paint job finished, and that was really quick. There was just one more thing to do, and that was some Vallejo gloss varnish. You could probably use, um, oh, Hard Coat or anything like that. Any gloss varnish will do, and I just brush painted that onto the windows to make them glossy which doesn't want to show up on the camera does it but there we go you can see that those windows are glossy and that was it the entire orc armada fleet are now finished he's gone there he is <laughs> so that's how i painted those really easy and i think they look pretty good for the amount of time spent. Literally a couple of evenings and you went through that. Actually, there's a stage I've missed, isn't there? I do apologize. And that was, let me just get the paint off my rack so we can find it. There you are. I just got some uh, Vallejo black, mixed it with about 10 drops of one drop of black, 10 drops water, and a touch of air blush. Air blush, airbrush flow aid, which is uh, this one here, and flow improver, I should say, and then used it as a wash all over the panels to give it some black line in there and a bit of dirt and weathering. I mean, if you wanted, you could fill in these details like these wires, maybe paint these teeth individually. But I wanted these quick and easy, done, ready for tabletop gaming. So that is it. And I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and goodbye. We hope you enjoy everything you see here on Sci-Fi Wargamers. If you'd like to support the channel, please don't forget to like the videos or subscribe. You can even leave us a comment as we love to interact with you guys. Also, you can support the channel by using one of the many links in the descriptions of each video below. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.